John Lesky of Lesky Archery Adventures. Serious testing, successful hunting. Today I'm going to be testing something totally different, okay? I've done a lot of bow tests and a lot of broadhead tests. Today I'm going to be testing a bow case. And for years I've been using an SKB case. I've had a few different models, but I've, I've used on most of my trips an SKB 4119, and I've really liked it. I mean, they're incredibly durable. I always think like if, if there's a, a nuclear war or something, you can open it up, jump inside, close it, and you should be safe in there, okay? It's really durable, but I haven't liked the weight. It weighs in empty at 18 pounds. And, uh, and then by the time you put your gear in it and stuff like that, it gets really heavy and there's no wheels. And the older I get, man, the more I miss those wheels. And when I have another big duffel bag or something for a big trip and I'm lugging it through the airport, that gets pretty tough. So I've wanted an upgrade. And then lo and behold, I see this Easton bow truck. Gen 2, Generation 2, that, that's just come out. And so I went ahead and got one. And what I'm gonna do is go through some of the design features and specifications with you right now. And then I'm preparing for an Alaskan brown bear hunt in just a few days. I'm gonna be leaving in just a few days from now. So I've got all my gear laid out. I'm gonna see how much I can fit and how I would pack it and see how this case works like in, in real time, okay, as I'm using it on the trip. And then I'm gonna track how it does and test how it does on my travels to, uh, to Alaska and during the hunt and everything else. And I'll complete the video at the end of it with a conclusion. So I haven't done any of that yet, but today I'm just gonna go through kind of some of the overall features. It comes in three different sizes. This is the smallest of the sizes and it's designed for shorter compound bows. So perfect for my compound bow. I have, I have plenty of room on either side. It's called the 3616 because it has 36 inches um, in, inside of, of length to length and then 16 inches uh, of width like that. And then the depth is listed, I think it's listed as, as nine inches. Now when, so plenty of room for a bow, actually it's room for two bows inside. If you wanna do that, a backup bow, I'm not taking a backup bow, but they say you can do that. I'll just put a bunch of gear in there instead. But then when I measure the external dimensions, it comes in just about, about an inch more than all those, like 37 inches long, like a 10 and a half inches of depth and 17 inches of width like that. So just about an inch on each side compared to the internal dimensions. The case is made with a really cool material. It's upgraded from their first generation model. It's a 1680D ballistic nylon, okay? It's the same material that's used in body armor. So it's gonna be really abrasion resistant, really durable, really puncture resistant, tear resistant like that. I mean, it's used in body armor. And then it's coated with a TPU coating to give it an extra weather resistance on top of that. So you're lugging it through rain or something like that, you should be good to go, keep everything dry inside. And then uh, it has some really cool uh, features on the outside as well. It's got these handles it has two handles on either end. So if you want to lift it up like that, it doesn't just have the one handle here. It's got a nice, uh, comfortable handle here for the main towing, but it also has a little handle right here so you can lift it up. Other models, you know, you just kind of got to grab it somewhere. So I like that they did that. And then it has a handle on the top. It's a nice uh, padded handle as well on the top. So if you want to carry it like luggage like that, then you can do so. It also has uh, these wheels on the bottom. And I really like these wheels. These were like one of the big features that I was looking for. And these um, have sealed bearings. They're skate wheels. I mean, they're actually skate wheels with seal bearings and they have like this this rubber coating so they're really quiet and really durable and really smooth and they don't stick out where they're like going to break off they're kind of like as you can see they just kind of groove in like that so the way it works is you you tow it through the airport by hand by pulling it by this handle and it just kind of glides really nice i'm looking forward to that okay then here it has another handle right here with the strap and the idea behind that is you may have other luggage well, what you can do is you can just like strap it on. So whatever you have, a backpack you don't want to carry on your back or, or you've got another carry-on or something like that, you can just strap it using the strap, wrap it around, and then just tow it all. So you can put it all in one package. That's really nice. So really cool features in terms of uh, all the external stuff. Then it has this extra feature externally with, um, with the pockets. 
Oh, and I want to say, uh, too, it's got these zippers. It's got two main zippers externally, and the zippers are YKK zippers. So those are really nice. You know when you compromise on zippers, you, you kind of think, like, what's the big deal with YKK? Till you have like a cheap zipper that's just kind of like stitched on. These are woven on zippers. So they're really smooth, really durable. They're not gonna kink up on you and they're gonna last. That's what they say. I, I, I think they're right just looking at them. Um, so it opens like that. But then I wanna show you this first. It's got this external flap that you can open. And from this, this external flap, after you open it, you can see it has access to these three different pockets, okay? And they're pretty deep pockets. So it's got access right there, there, and then here for like, you know, arrows, arrow tubes, whatever you want to put in there, but a lot of room for gear. That's a big improvement over what I was using with the SKB. I would put like, like pieces of gear loose kind of in between my clothes and stuff like that, but it would all get jumbled together. Or if I'm looking for one thing, I got to open up the whole bow case and gotta kinda of empty it out to find it and then repack it. Here it's all compartmentalized and you can reach it from the outside, which is really nice. And you don't have to open up the bow case to get to your gear like that, that's handy. And then in terms of the main compartment, well, let me show you these pockets from the inside. When you open up the main compartment, here's these very same pockets from the inside. So as you're loading it, loading it, it lays flat, lies flat like that. And then you can just load them up like that, but you can access it from the other side as well. So you can just load all kinds of stuff in there and they're nice padded pockets as well. And then for the main part, for the, uh, for the bow itself, let's see if I can lift it up there. You can kind of see it like that. Okay, yeah. So it's got these, uh, these straps, okay, these seatbelt straps, they called it, to really hold your bow super securely. And then you see that it's got this internal felt, kind of like a, like a carrying case. And what you do is you put one bow inside that, that felt case. So it's really snug and super protected in there. And then you can lay another bow on top of it. That's where you get the two and they're not banging against each other. Or you can just put a bunch of gear, a bunch of clothes. That's what I'm gonna be doing because I'm just taking one bow. So man, it looks really nice. Okay, I like the weight at just 14 pounds. I like all the uh, accessory pockets. I like the durability. I like that it's a hybrid in that it's it's soft, so it's lighter weight, but super durable. It's not gonna be crushed and a lot of extra padding in there and then a really tough exterior to boot, really great handle. So it looks like it's gonna carry all of my stuff in a really great way and be a lot easier to access it than what I've been carrying. So that's the overall features. Now the next step is I'm gonna put all my gear in it and see how much I can fit. And then again, I'm gonna take you on my journey through the airports to Alaska and then back and we'll give a final conclusion of of how it fared. Now I wanna see how much of this I can fit in there. I've got all my clothes laid out, binoculars, rainfinder, flashlights, bow and quiver and extra arrows and tripod and camera and boots. And then I forgot all the food, that's all downstairs. I got a bunch of bars and nuts and things like that. So we're gonna see how much of this we can fit in there. So I was able to fit almost everything, <laughs> that whole big pile into the case, which is really impressive. And uh, I'll show it to you here. There it is. So I got the bow uh, in there. And what I do is I just like to stack a bunch of my my clothes. You know, if you, uh, if you roll them up, they take up less space. And I put them all like under my bow and around my bow. So it provides extra padding. And then you have these uh, pockets right here that I put, as you can see, I put a few jackets. Got my tripod, got some extra arrows in there. And then I've got this for uh, a lot more clothes. And then I've got this with more gear and so forth. And I still got a lot more room I can fit in there. And I can access those outer pockets through here. If I wanna reach into the gear, you know, I can grab something in this one and, and so forth. So really nice, <laughs> I really like it. And the way that everything fit, and I still have room that I could fit a lot more if needed. So pretty cool. 
Okay, so I just got back from my Alaska brown bear bow hunt, and man, it was awesome. You got to check out the video if you've not done uh, so already. But in terms of this uh, this bow truck, let me just tell you, it exceeded my expectations. It performed extremely well. I was really impressed with a few things. Like first, I could put so much gear in there. I, I actually uh, tipped the scale right at 50 pounds at the airport coming back. I just like kept putting more and more stuff in there. And being able to put so much in there without a lot of that weight being for the case itself allowed me to not have to pay for a second bag. I just had to check one bag and then I had the backpack on my back that I carried onto the plane. So that that was really nice to do that. And then there's no oversize to it. Even though I packed it so well, you know, it, it fit within the 50 pound threshold and it's not oversized in terms of the dimensions. It, it fit according to their, their regulations. So that was a big plus. And I could lock the outside pockets with the TSA lock and then the main opening with the TSA lock as well. So felt secure about that. The bow, everything was just in perfect shape. There was, you know, I sighted it in when I got there. It was dead on, you know, nothing moved at all in there. And then uh, what I really liked about it as well were the wheels. So I could fit so much in there, but then not have to worry about carrying it because I can just let, you know, drag it. And the wheels were fantastic. I even had to go over gravel at one point, but they just like plow right over the gravel. Super, super smooth. And you can just stand it upright and then it's not going to like roll away and tilt it a little bit and you can pull it there. So man, this uh, again, way exceeded my expectations, really high recommendation for it. Now it's not cheap, um, but you know, for, for a bow case that you're going to be using like this, I mean, it's worth the investment. And I was able to get a discount code from Easton. So if you type in LUSK25, LUSK25, you get two benefits. One, you save 25 bucks on any bow case you order. And two, you also get free shipping. So that adds up and makes the price, I think, a lot more attractive, especially for the quality case that you're getting here. But uh, really highly recommend this case. If you're taking a trip or you're looking to take trips in the future, definitely check out this, this bow truck Gen 2.